So I've been doing a lot of hunting in multiplayer for a Diamond True Axe Red Deer, and well, you may have noticed that there was a video posted yesterday at a time where I never post videos, and that was definitely supposed to be today's video. I accidentally published it instead of scheduled it for the normal release time, so I thought we'd actually go ahead and take a look at all the kills I've had in the process of trying to get a Diamond True Axe Red Deer, because there's actually a lot of pretty cool ones. That's the first level 5 move on I've seen in a long time. And if the Scorasmith thing is accurate, I think he's going to be 183, which, honestly, I haven't shot a Mouflon in so long. I think that's just above the diamond requirement, but I'm not sure. I have actually noticed, you can see it with these guys, the drink animation on, I think, all the Ibex and the Mouflon is, like, kind of bugged, so I'm a little worried about that. So we're going to let him uh, go to drink again and then take our shot, just because it's doing that weird thing. But I think that'll be just fine, considering he's laying there dead. And there was a gray, I think? Maybe he was one of the ones that didn't glitch? It wasn't a huge gray, and eventually I do want to find, like, a, a good-sized one. But, eh, the one I saw wasn't that special. So we got our Diamond Wolf on stream. We still need two more wolves for the multi-mount, but we do have our Diamond Mouflon. Okay, 179 is actually diamond, so he was like, no problem. And, uh, honestly, I wasn't sure if the Mouflon were working for like a long time. I kind of thought maybe he had to have like a really particularly big one, but this guy's not huge on the weight. And I don't know how high their uh, scores can actually get as far as like the max, but seems like they're actually working fine. I just wasn't finding any uh, very big Mouflon, but that's cool. I'm so glad I went and checked this. I just saw this fleeing road deer, and I thought it looked kind of like different, but it honestly wasn't all that dark color, but I just had the disturbed veg there. It is a melanistic, and it's actually like a decent sized buck. It could even be gold, I don't know, but he ran somewhere right there. And yeah, actually at this angle, I can see it much better. That is 100% a melanistic, and I believe gold, uh, road your bucks. So I've never had one of these. We're gonna alert him. He started the step, but I think we're fine. Looks like definitely a good enough shot with the 243. So what the heck? I almost just turned around and fast traveled because the angle I had it did not really strike me as being melanistic. But I thought I should go check the disturbed veg, and I'm so glad he left it because there's so many times where I want to pick up the disturbed veg from an animal and I just never find it. So that was really, really lucky, but I've had albino road deer, I've had piebald road deer, I've never had a melanistic, and I'm going through multiplayer, of course, looking for a true rack diamond red deer, because that is the new thing right now. And I wouldn't say this is better, but it's definitely really cool. But I think, honestly, you can kind of see why I thought that wasn't rare. Very brown looking in the sun, but 100%. That is a lot darker than the common roadier, and honestly, the fact that there was another roadier buck down here actually kind of confirmed my decision to go look for Disturb Edge, but how about that? One of the more rare animals in this game, Melanistic Roadier, and it's actually a like gold as well, so we have a diamond roadier we killed a while ago, so if we can get either, I guess another diamond, but ideally another rare buck. That could make for one heck of a multi-mount. Okay, I swear I just saw a Winter Wolf. It's the front one here, that guy. He looks really light to me. It's not albino, but I think it might be the winter color, which I believe is a rare as well. But, just take that there. I really, really hope that's a winter. I've never killed one. And the fact that it's a male as well and could go in the, uh, what's it called, fangs out multi-mount? I think that could be so cool. And he does look really light. I hope that's what that is. I've never had a winter wolf, but... Man, I think that's what that is. Alright. Ooh. Can we claim it? Oh god, okay. So, it's actually a gold. That scared me so bad that we actually got a winter wolf. And, like, we weren't gonna be able to claim it. But that's so cool. We're gonna finally have a winter in general. But the fact that it's a male and can go in that multi-mount as well is just so much better. I... God, that scared me though. So this could just be perfect. We killed that winter wolf yesterday, 
for the multi-mount. And now I have a really good sized gray mouflon out here. I thought he was maybe a five and I got really excited when I saw it, but he's a really big four. And we'll go ahead and just drop him right there. But yeah, that could go really, really well. I don't know if I want to put the diamond in there or if I would want to use the gray. I think I want to use the gray because it feels like the way that I try to like set stuff up in the lodge, I try to, I don't know, have diamonds pretty much either by themselves or a diamond and like a rare or whatever in the multi-mount. So I think I'll probably do the diamond mouflon on the wall somewhere and maybe do this in the multi-mount because we have a diamond wolf to go with it. We have the winter wolf, which is definitely a rare. And then I guess we're going to have to find another wolf, but yeah, that's a, a really nice gray. We'll see if we can maybe get a screenshot of this if he dived decently. I mean, it's not too bad. You know what that looks like? It almost looks like a stone sheep, which, to be honest, now makes me want stone sheep in the game. But yeah, that's real close. Like, another kilo heavier? He definitely could have been right around diamond, but that's neat. I think that's definitely the one I want in the multi-mount. So I decided to come to Parquet to see if I could have better luck getting a diamond red deer here. And I managed to find a level 3 duck. Which is now dead. But, uh, yeah. Not much luck on the diamond true rack red deer hunt over here either. But I mean, I guess it's something. And we had a lot of nice kills on Quattro while doing this. So, nice to get something off of Parquet, I suppose. But, yeah, it's actually right on diamond, I believe. Yeah, 4.60. Decent little diamond duck. Obviously, that's not super special, but we'll take what we can get, I suppose. I mean, we're not doing too bad on the rares since the true rack uh, red deer update, but not exactly finding the diamonds. Either way, though, we'll definitely take another pie bolt. I don't know if I have a multi-mount for it right now. I'll have to see, because we have an albino with the... Uh, diamond legacy rack and I think we maybe have an albino with the piebald male that we shot So maybe I could put this with the albino true rack one that we just shot or maybe I'm gonna save that I don't know what I want to do with it, but I think At least this will probably find a multi-mount. I think probably one of the albinos that I have um, Is gonna get replaced by this just because if we have an albino in one why not do a piebald in the other that gets to display something different a little more variance in the lodge I think I'm probably going to maybe put it with the Legacy Rack, just so we can have, like, Albino and Piebald together, and then Piebald and Common Diamond together. And I still don't know. Depends on what diamond, if we ever can find one, uh, for the True Rack Red Deer we get. But I may even take the Legacy Diamond out of that multi-mount. It's just going to depend what that looks like, but... Yeah, that's kind of got a disturb edge going through us. I won't worry about a screenshot on the ground, but... Pretty cool. We've now had an albino female, a piebald female, and an albino male since the True Rex update. And not a single level 9, which I actually would not have expected, but I'll take the rares. They look cool. All the rare red deer look cool. That said, still the wrong rare. I still don't have a melanistic. I want to see one of those for myself, but yeah, cool to run into. That's going to be a bit of a stretch. What is that, like 260? I think it said. Yeah, so I kind of know where to aim, but we'll see if I can actually make that happen when there's a three there. That'd be 200, something like there. I don't even know where that hit. Okay, well, I can't believe the first one did nothing because he, he didn't go alert or anything. And then I only aimed a little bit lower, but sure, we'll take another diamond teal. I think that's actually the red... I guess not fur type, feather type. Yeah, it actually is right on diamond, 4.60 like the other one. This one's actually a red, so it's actually at least kind of cool. Not too bad, 258 meters. I don't know where that first shot hit still, but at least that's different. So I think I have everything set up in here now. So for one, we have the albino red deer's dag from yesterday's video. Finally actually put that in the lodge. I didn't do a multi-mount with him. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing him and this piebald, but I honestly like the idea of doing the piebald with the legacy diamond, because I did have an albino female here, 
But the Piebald Red Deer are one of my favorite rares in the entire game. I just think they look really good, so I think that's probably how I want to keep that. And at least the Albino kind of finishes off that wall. I don't know if I want to keep the two Piebald Whitetail there, but we'll figure that out on another day. But then we have this multi mount here, which I'm actually really, really happy with. We have the Grey Mouflon, which if it was just a little bit bigger, definitely could have been Diamond, but honestly still cool, like a good size Grey. And then we have our Grey Diamond Wolf, which was shot, I think, in Monday's livestream. We have the Winter Wolf, of course, from today, and this little Olive Wolf, which maybe we can eventually get a different one. I do actually like the Olive color, so I don't know. I think that's actually a really neat multi-mount. And then we get to keep our diamond and display that somewhere else, which is up here on the wall. Uh, the 183 Mouflon, and of course the Melon Stick Road Deer, which I don't intend on keeping either of these two here. I just wanted to have them, you know, all in the same place so we could look at them in the lodge, but eventually... I mean, like I said, a diamond, a melanistic, and then maybe like an albino or piebald roe deer for that multi-mount. I think that would be really cool. And then, yeah, I'll move the mouflon somewhere else in the lodge. Because what I want to do is have two diamonds of each duck species here on the wall. Because we got to add our two teal today. The red and the common, which were actually the same trophy rating. Which, go figure, I think they both should have been basically 950 on the old system. Like, right at diamond. But, still pretty cool. If we can get two more diamond mallards, that would pretty much finish off that wall. But yeah. I think that's going to do it for this video. I don't have everything exactly where I want to have it, but for the sake of getting things in the lodge and kind of taking a look at everything, I think that'll work just fine. And honestly, no diamond true rack red deer just yet, but a lot of cool kills along the way, and that I will not complain about. If we keep getting cool stuff like this for the lodge, I think we can wait a little bit on getting a diamond true rack red deer. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.